What is up my dudes, Kevin here, we are back with a brand new Red Dead Online video and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a brand new money making route which involves a brand new fish spawning location where the fish are just going to kill themselves as you can see, we already have some salmon that killed themselves and on top of that, a brand new cougar location so I hope you guys enjoy this, if you do Drop a like in the video and comment down below. What do you think about this location? What locations have you guys been using? Some of the old ones don't work that well anymore, so we're finding some new ones. And other than that, guys, subscribe to the channel. And let's get right on to it. All right, so like I said in the intro, guys, this method is going to involve two parts. This fishing spot right here, as you guys can see, we got some salmon already. I didn't even do the technique. They kind of just popped in and killed themselves. And after this, a new cougar location that you guys may or may not know about. So to start things off, you guys want to come here right on the map right above little creek river now once you guys are here you want to look for this location right here just point it out by this big rock now at this point all you guys want to do is take out your fishing rod and this is going to start spawning in fish what you want to do is put on your lure put on your lake lure we're going to be switching between lures throughout this this is going to make it so you can spawn in pretty much an unlimited amount of fish every time you switch your lure a new batch will spawn in so here you guys want to find the right spot where you can be able to cast into the water you usually have to look downstream a little bit. Cast it on in. That might be too far. Looks like we're good. Now, as you see, right when I did that, a bunch of fish just start spawning in right here. And the current is too strong. That's pretty much going to push them down, force them onto land, or force them onto that rock right there in the middle. Now, once you guys have a bunch of fish right there, if you notice some of them are not dying, all you do is put your, put your rod away. We're going to take out our varmint rifle. And you're literally just going to shoot right here. This is going to cause them to go crazy. Uh, look at this. You can see the water's even glitching out. And just shoot. And the fish in that area are just going to start killing themselves. Flying all over the place. You guys are going to be good to go. So we got a bunch of them flying all around. Killing themselves. Looks like we got a lot of perch. Oops, I shot that one by accident. Which is no problem because as you guys know. The vomit rifle will not affect these fish all that much. Now what you guys got one batch of fish up there, you want to spawn some more in. All you guys do again is take out your rod. Let's put on a different lure this time. Let's do the river lure. And we're just going to cast in the water again. Now we can even cast up this way and it'll spawn some fish up river as well. So what you want to do is come right here to this spot. You just want to cast right here. And you'll see if I use my eagle eye, let me do this again. There's going to be fish spawning up there as well. And you will see they'll start to swim onto land up there as well. And you guys can go ahead and grab those on top of these fish. Now, once you're casted in, guys, and you got some spawning up there, you can spawn some in down here as well. So cast it on in again, just like we did. And as soon as it goes in, we're going to see some more fish spawning in. If not, all you want to do is reel it in. We're going to change our lure to this lake lure. And we're simply going to cast this one into the water as well. And as you can see, we already have some more salmon spawning in right there. And that guy, he's probably going to get picked up by the corn. Oh, or, yep, he's dead already. So basically, the trick to getting more fish to spawn in is just keep changing your position bit by bit and keep switching your lures. And they'll keep coming constantly until you guys have the amount that you're looking for. Now, once you guys do have the amount you're looking for, you just want to go ahead, put your rod away, and start picking up the fish. Now, after you pick up the fish, I'll show you guys where to go to get this brand new cougar. Let me pick up all these salmon we got. Got one there. One up here. We got a whole bunch of fish on this rock right here. Oh, no. One's falling down. Get back here, buddy. All right. I got him. Now, also, guys, you want to make sure you check all these crevices of the rocks here because oftentimes, as you see here, there's going to be a bunch of fish just piled into these little corners. So you want to make sure you check those as well because not only are they going to be on this middle rock, but a lot of them will be spread out. So let's grab all these. As you can see, we got a large amount of fish in that short period of time. No work at all. You just cast your rod, reel it in, cast your rod, and fish are just going to fly all over the place. So let's pick this guy up as well. Got a bunch of bluegills, perch. You can get chain pickles. You can get redfin pickles. You can get salmon. You can get rock bass. So you can get a wide variety of fish here. So once you guys picked up all the fish, you can either go ahead, spawn some more in. Let me just show you guys so you know that it works. You can just cast in your rod again. All right. And as you guys can see... Brand new batch of fish are already spawning in, so it's super, super easy. You literally have to do nothing. You can just rinse and repeat, and more are going to come as you go. The longer you sit here, obviously the more that are going to pile up. But once you guys did all those steps, what you want to do is actually walk down this creek, because for whatever reason, as you go, more fish will start spawning in ahead of you. It's kind of weird, but it happens from time to time. 
You want to make sure you just check these little rocks as you go down because there's per usually rock bass right here. Yep, see, we got perch. Fish tend to just get pushed down the river. I guess they'll either miss the rocks up ahead and they'll just get pushed further down river. So make sure you guys walk down a little bit and check all these spots before we leave. We got some fish right here. I think we got another one stuck right here. Got a rock bass right here. So I think you guys get the whole idea. Make sure you just go down the creek, check all these rocks because they're gonna be pushed down pretty far. I usually don't see them past this point, so pretty much go until you guys are happy with what you got. You can go until you got 10 of each. It's very possible and very easy at this location. But for the sake of time, guys, let's move on to the next spot. So at this point, guys, call your horse, and we're going to work our way to the cougar spot, which is actually on the way to the butcher, so it works out really nicely at this location. All right, so once you have all the fish that you're looking for, all the salmon, perch, bluegill, yada, 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 right here at this location, which is where we are just at, you guys want to head directly south towards the direction of Strawberry to this spot right here, which is where we're going to find the cougar, a very good location and a very good route. It's super easy. We go here. Boom, and then straight to strawberry. So it all works out pretty efficiently. So it's actually nighttime right now, and I actually just heard the cougar scream. So we're gonna wait till morning time so you guys can get a better view of what's actually going on. So I'll see you in a second. It's now morning time. So what you want to do is that the is that the cougar right there? No, that's a that's a tree stump. All right. So what you want to do is is come to around this area right here, and you want to follow just follow the creek up, and you usually see the cougar along this spot right here somewhere. So here he is right here. Get a headshot on him like usual, guys. Is it three-star? I hope it's a three-star. That one snuck up on me real quick. If you guys... So basically what you want to do is, if you don't see him at this spot when you first go by it, literally just ride up here, ride back, and the cougar will spawn around this general area, like I said, guys. He's usually right by the creek, so you don't have to search around too much for him. So let's see what we got here. We got a three-star. Hey, got some good luck. Usually get two-star, three-star. Obviously, you prefer the three-star, so let's throw this bad boy on our horse. So at this point, what we're going to do is follow our way down here and go straight to Strawberry. Now, there actually is some eagles along the way here and some nice birds you can catch so keep an eye out for those while heading back uh i'll stop and i'll kill them i'll show you guys where they are if we come across them other than that guys you guys are pretty much good to go besides birds which you will get a lot of ducks loons just songbirds stuff like that there also is a bunch of different kinds of animals in the area nothing that's you know too crazy money wise but if you want to get some extra cash on top of what we already got go ahead and make sure you just pretty much shoot everything in sight all right, we made it back to the butchers and strawberry, and as you can see, I picked up a few other little animals on the way. So here is everything that we got. Quite a large variety, which is good, guys. That's what you want in Red Dead Online. You want a variety because, as you know, there's only a max amount that you can hold. Even though you can get unlimited amounts, you're going to have to just do multiple runs. So here we go. We got the duck feathers, which are 30 cents each. Nothing crazy. A dollar twenty for those. Then we got some largemouth bass. I didn't get these from this location. I think these were already in my inventory, so do not count these, guys. But these we got here. We got redfin pickerels, a dollar each, two dollars for those. We got some game meat, sixty cents for that, a dollar eighty. On top of that, we got all the bluegills that we got, four dollars fifty cents, not too bad. Now here's what we're looking at: the sockeye salmon's one of my favorite fishes to catch. Honestly, they look amazing. Twenty-five dollars for these. Go ahead and sell that. Now that's some good money right there. The perfect rabbit pelt. Got that on my way back. Dollar fifteen, not bad. Like I was saying, not gonna get any crazy money from the little animals on the way back, but they're worth getting. Next, we got a bluegill, probably the one I shot or maybe I ran over, but let's sell that. We got big game meat from the cougar, of course. Let's sell that, $2.25. Okay, cougar fangs, $0.50. Cents. Chain pickles, a dollar each, 8 bucks right there. Not bad, some nice pocket change. Some flight feathers, you just get those randomly from the little birds. The birds I probably killed on the way back were the ducks. We got the rock bass, a dollar each, 10 bucks for those. That's some good money. Animal fat from the ducks I killed, $0.50 cents for that. Then we got the perches, a dollar just like the rock basses, another eight right there, some good money. Some stringy meat, 25 cents. We got the perfect cougar pelt, five dollars. We got the perfect cougar carcass, $13.50. Then we got the good duck carcass, a dollar sixty-five. Three dollars thirty cents in total as I got two of them. So as you guys can see, we got a huge chunk of money from that run. A wide variety. Now I did have some extra bass, maybe a few extra little other things, but you can expect to get around that amount of stuff from doing this route. Very, very good technique, very good new method, and you guys shouldn't have too much trouble going with it. It's pretty straightforward. Again, let me recap. You guys are gonna start here, get your salmon, get your all your other fish, then you head straight down to the cougar spot right here. 
And then along the way, you guys are going to kill pretty much any little animal because there's a bunch around Lake Omanhila. And then you'll arrive at Strawberry. You guys are good to go. Pretty easy, pretty safe route. You guys should have no troubles. If you do, let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you out. Other than that, guys, drop a like down the video if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all next time for a brand new video. Peace.